Video Gamers Oasis Playful Podcast Discussions on my favorite games, movies, TV shows, anime, comic books, collectibles, and other fun content for gamers and geeks. I'm your host, Jeremy. Welcome to the show. Hello, welcome back to Video Gamers Oasis Playful Podcast, and I'm your host, Jeremy. Back again with some more uh, video game-related topics to discuss. We're continuing our uh, research, my personal research, of Shigeru Miramoto, boyhood boyhood role model, uh, really inspired by his creative video game design, his cartoony characters, in video games like uh, video game systems like the NES and Famicom and SN- SNES, uh, all the characters like Super Mario, Link, Legend of Zelda, all the uh, excited bike, uh, all these exci- uh, wonderful uh, Star Fox. We may have, may have grown up with Star Fox. Great collection of cartoony uh, Disney-like characters in the video game universe that he created. We're continuing our research on wikipedia.org. Again, I, I encourage you to do your own personal research. I'm just sharing my love of the man's work. And um, perhaps you may find it enjoyable. Perhaps you may find it educational. We're looking into 1990 to year 2000. Super NES. Nintendo 64. Super Mario 64. And the Ocarina of Time. This research was obtained by from wikipedia.org and the various books that uh, wikipedia.org researched. Here it is. A merger between Nintendo's various internal research and development teams led to the creation of Nintendo Entertainment Analysis and Development Development or short for short, that's Nintendo capital E-A-D, which Miyamoto headed. Nintendo E-A-D had approximately 15 months to develop F-Zero, one of the launch titles for the Super Nintendo Entertainment System. Miyamoto worked through various games on the Super Nintendo Entertainment System, one of them Star Fox. For the game, Programmer Jez San convinced Nintendo to develop an upgrade for the Super Nintendo, allowing it to handle three-dimensional graphics better. The Super FX chip. Using this new hardware, Miyamoto and Katsuya, pardon me, Miyamoto and Katsuya, K-A-T, K-A-T-S-U-Y-A. Katsuya, I want to make sure I pronounce that right. Katsuya Iguchi, E G U C H I Iguchi, designed the Star Fox game with an early implementation of three dimensional graphics. And there's a little graphical uh, illustration of a Super NES game controller and a person playing the game controller. And a little bit of a description underneath the illustration reads. Miyamoto was responsible for the controller design of the Super Famicom forward slash Nintendo. Its left-right buttons were an industry first and have since become commonplace. Moving on, Miyamoto produced two major Mario games for the system. The first, Super Mario World, was a launch title. It featured an overworld, as in Super Mario Bros. 3, and introduced a new character, Yoshi, 
who would go on to appear in various other Nintendo games. The second Mario game for the system, Super Mario RPG, went in somewhat went in a somewhat different direction. Miyamoto led a team consisting of a partnership between Nintendo and Square. It took nearly a year to develop the graphics. The story takes place in a near newly rendered Mushroom Kingdom based on the Super Mario Bros. series. Miyamoto also created The Legend of Zelda, a link to the past for the Super Nintendo Entertainment System, the third entry in the series. Dropping the side-scrolling elements of its predecessor, A Link to the Past introduced to the series elements that are still commonplace today, such as the concept of an alternate or parallel world the Master Sword, and other new weapons and items. Shigeru Miyamoto mentored Satoshi Tajiri. It's S-A-T-O-S-H-I, and last name is spelled T-A-J-I-R-I. Satoshi Tajiri, guiding him during the creation process of Pocket Monsters. Red and Green, released in English as Pokemon Red and Blue, the initial video game in the Pokemon series. He also acted in the producer. He also acted as the producer for these games and worked on social gameplay concepts such as trading. Pokemon would go on to be the be one of the most popular entertainment franchises in the world spanning video games, anime, and various other merchandise. And you just have to look outside your door and you see, uh, whenever you get a chance to see kids playing Pokemon on their cards or their Nintendo. Uh, Very popular now. I'm not sure if it's as popular as it used to be. But we have, uh, a couple years ago, we had the Pokemon Go on the cell phone, which is taken off in leaps and bounds. Pokemon, to this day, is an extremely popular uh, merchandise and uh, card trading game. Excellent example. Excellent. Moving on. Miyamoto made several games for the Nintendo 64. Mostly from his previous franchises. His first game on the new system... And one of its launch titles was Super Mario 64, for which he was the principal director in developing the game. He began with character design and the camera system. Miyamoto and the other designers were initially unsure of which direction the game should take and spent months to select an appropriate camera view and layout. The original concept involves a fixed path, much like an isometric type game, before the choice was made to settle on a free-roaming 3D design. He guided the design of the Nintendo 64 controller in tandem with that of Super Mario 64. And there's further information you can research is Nintendo 64 controller and design. Perhaps in a future episode I can research that. Moving on, using what he had learned about the Nintendo 64 from developing Super Mario 64 and Star Fox 64, Miyamoto produced Miyamoto produced his ne- next game, The Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time, leading a team of several directors. Its engine was based on that of Super Mario 64, but was so heavily modified as to be a somewhat different engine. Individual parts of Ocarina of Time were handled by multiple directors. A new strategy for Nintendo EAD. However, when things progressed slower than expected, Miyamoto returned to the development team with a more central role assisted in public by interpreter Bill Trinan. 
T-I, no, T-R-I-N-E-N, Bill Trinan. Uh, Bill Trinan is the Senior Product Marketing Manager of Nintendo of America. He is also a professional Japanese to English translator who has worked on the localization of numerous Nintendo published video games and often acts as an interpreter for various Japanese developers. That'd be interesting research to do in the future. The team was new to 3D games, but assistant director Makato Miyanaga, that's M-A-K-O-T-O, last name M-I-Y-A-N-A-G-A, Makato Miyanaga, recalls a sense of passion for creating something new and unprecedented. Miyamoto went on to produce a sequel to Ocarina of Time, known as The Legend of Zelda Majora's Mask. By reusing the game, engine, and graphics from Ocarina of Time, a smaller team required only 18 months to finish Majora's Mask. Miyamoto worked on a variety of Mario series spin-offs for the the Nintendo 64, including Mario Kart 64 and Mario Party. That's all the time we have for this research of uh, Shigeru Miyamoto. Tune in next episode. We'll be researching 2000, the year 2000, to the year 2011. GameCube, Wii, W-I-I, and DS. So that must be that will be exciting to look more into the years uh, after 2000, uh, what Miyamoto has accomplished during those times. So thanks for tuning in to Video Gamers Always This Playful Podcast. This is your host, Jeremy, and I've been researching Shigeru Miyamoto for my own enjoyment, but I hope you can at least enjoy what I've been researching as well. If you like what you've seen so far, like what you've listened to so far, make sure to like. Uh, follow my um, Anchor podcast, anchor.fm uh, forward slash Video Gamers Oasis, or you know, check out the Video Gamers Oasis podcast on Anchor. It's also going to be shared on the uh, Spotify website as well. Appreciate you your supporting and following my podcast. It's also going to be shared on my YouTube channel, Video Gamers Oasis on YouTube. Make sure to click the subscribe button and make sure that bell is wiggling. I've been working on uh, improving the video quality of my podcast uh, videos. Uh, I've used to have in the first episode I made sort of an, an animation. Um, kind of, I my 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 dad basically uh, gave me his old computer because he's he purchased a brand new computer. So I'm using his old computer as a graphic design video editing uh, podcast machine, and my main computer will be, be for gaming and video uh, movie watching. So what my plan is to eventually, I have to uh, reinstall my Camtasia Studio on my uh, new computer, the 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 graphic design computer while I'll be doing video editing, and I have to up, I have to connect my internet to my new computer to the computer that I have now for graphics. So it's a bit of a transition right now. So I'm using kind of a simple video design for my YouTube videos. But I assure you, once I get my Camtasia Studio working and rolling, I'm going to really make some nice uh, graphical animations in my YouTube video series. So thank you for your patience uh, as I'm going through a bit of a self-improvement as well as YouTube and uh, website uh, design improvement. Yeah, check out the website, videogamerswaste.com. It's a video game database of knowledge. Uh, This video will be, this information or this podcast will be shared on my website. Thanks for tuning in. I'm Jeremy. You're watching Video Gamers Oasis Playful Podcast on Anchor.fm. And I hope you and your family have a delightful and enjoyable holiday season. Whatever faith you belong to, make sure you have lots of love and lots of uh, enjoyment during that time. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you again real soon. Till next time, bye. Video Gamers Oasis Playful Podcasts would like to thank this episode's sponsor. Mogo Crypto. 
Mogul's got the triple threat. Free dollars to buy Bitcoin. Free ID fraud protection. And the free Mogul card that helps you save money and fight climate change. Took me two minutes to sign up. Check it out. HTTPS colon forward slash forward slash B-I-T dot L-Y forward slash two capital K lowercase L capital B lowercase L lowercase R cap- capital O. Click that link and you can sign up on the web page that coincides with that link.